Now, I almost missed this. Um, the it's times one times ten switchable passive probes. You usually don't think anything of them. Well, these ones are actually rather special. I think it's the PVP thirty one fifty, and you know it's it's a nice, decent um, you know times one times ten switchable probe. But the thing with uh, times one probes, and I've done a video on this. I'll link it in up here and down below if you haven't seen it. Uh, the secrets of times one oscilloscope uh, probes is that they usually have a really poor bandwidth like six megahertz or something like that this one dc to 20 megahertz now that's handy because you often want to use one of the applications for using the times one position for example is measuring noise and noise is typically measured over a standard bandwidth just an industry standard uh because you have to pick something of 20 megahertz and that's why oscilloscopes have 20 megahertz bandwidth limits well if you've got your standard times one probe uh, you're actually not getting the noise over the full bandwidth. This one's DC to 20 megahertz. So let's test it. So I've got the Roden Schwartz MXO here, and I've got it connected up using the frequency uh, response analyzer in times one uh, probe mode. And sure enough, I've got it uh, going from 100 kilohertz to 100 megahertz up here. And sure enough, the blue one here, the red one's phase, and the blue one here is the bandwidth. And 10 megahertz there, it starts peaking up at, you know, for like like at a couple of meg it starts going up we're only talking like you know point not even half a db there or something and it peaks at around about that 25 megahertz mark or thereabouts i'll call it 20 so like and it's actual minus 3 db bandwidth is something over in the order of like 50 60 60 megahertz something like that so um, really, well, you know, you wouldn't use it that high, but but the fact is, um, yeah, you would certainly use it right up to 20 megahertz, so that's really handy. Now I have to measure, like, a, a 6 megahertz one and see what we get. All right, so I've got this Siglent PP5 1000 megahertz uh, switchable jobby, and its uh, data sheet value is a very typical, almost uh, universal standard uh, 6 megahertz bandwidth in the times 1 position. And there you go, I've just done the uh, sweep. It is uh, significantly different. It's a, you know, nice roll off here. There's no, like, little peak before it uh, uh, rolls off like we saw on the Rigol one. But, um, yeah, it's about 3 dB down at just over 10 meg there, you know, call it round it to 10 meg or something like that. So it's a bit better than the uh, spec of um, 6 meg there, but it's a good 5.5 dB down at uh, 20 megahertz there. And its phase response is a little bit different as well. So I don't know, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer like uh, the higher bandwidth with a little bit of a peaky on it? Or do you like your nice, boring, slow roll off 6 megahertz jobby? Leave it in the comments.